Hey guys, Leto here from PlayToEarn.net. The Binance Smart Chain is still the most famous blockchain for games to build on, with over 40% of games listed on our website being on BNB. With that many games, it may be hard to keep track of which ones are playable right now. Don't worry because you just clicked the right video. Here are the top 5 player earned games on BNB you can play right now. The first game on our list is Ragnarok Landverse. Ragnarok Landverse is a fantasy open-world MMORPG being built on the Binance Smart Chain. Ragnarok Landverse is a 2D top-down MMORPG set in the mythical land of Midgard. If the game seems familiar, it's because it uses the same base game as the widely popular MMORPG Ragnarok Online. If you've played Ragnarok Online in the past, you pretty much know how Ragnarok Landverse plays. When you start the game, each character you create starts as a novice. As you level up, you can eventually change classes to align more towards your specialty. There are a variety of different base jobs in the game for different playstyles, such as the swordsman, archer, mage, assassin, and acolyte. And if you just want to focus on the economy of the game, there's even a merchant class. Each base class can also branch out to more specialized second classes. For example, a swordsman can choose to level up to be a knight or a paladin, and mages can choose to be a wizard or a sage. You can also equip your character with various equipment to make them even stronger. But be careful, because most equipment are usually restricted to certain jobs. You can then explore the open world, fight with various monsters, pick up loot and resources, and sell them for Zenny and other tokens. The rarer the drop, the more expensive it goes for on the open market. And with the integration of blockchain technology, there's even a land and housing system built into the game. The game is playable now if you want to try it out. For even more info, you can check their website. The next game on our list is Uliverse. Uliverse is a social metaverse game being built on the Binance Smart Chain. Uliverse is a role-playing game in alternate reality where you play as a Uli character who purifies the Terra by completing challenging tasks in the human civilization of AD 2022. The game features a rich storyline, immersive social play, and a new norm of socializing with other players and merchants. Through the offline travel feature, players can also explore the city based on Uli's radar map, allowing you to constantly explore the story. Other than solo exploration mode, as you advance, you will unlock T-mode and PvP mode for even more immersive and challenging social play. The Uli characters are minted from Mr boxes and there are five different types of elements wind rock ice fire and thunder each element has its own unique appearance and abilities and players can upgrade enhance and breed their yuli characters the game also has two types of tokens arg and art arg or the alternate reality gem is the output of terra purification and the main currency of the game it is used for upgrading characters and chips art is the alternate reality token which is the supreme honor of yuliverse and the credential token for higher level activities art has a supply of 8 billion and is used for more high level upgrading in the game the game is playable now if you want to try it out. For even more info, you can check their website and socials. Liking this list so far? Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you're always updated with games that you love. And now let's get straight back to the list. The next game on our list is MetaFighter. MetaFighter is an arcade PvP fighting game being built on the Binance Smart Chain. MetaFighter is a metaverse NFT-based fighting game. If you're a fan of arcade fighting classics like Street Fighter, Virtual Fighter, and Soul Calibur, this might be the game for you. MetaFighter is a skill-based player and fighting game built for the blockchain. It revives the classic arcade fighting games with advanced graphics and blockchain technology. The game has a unique story that involves time portals, ancient aliens, and metaverse champions. You can choose from a variety of different fighters, each with their own backstory, stats, skills, and superpowers. You can also customize your fighter with various skins and accessories that are minted as NFTs. The game has three modes. In story mode, you can follow the main plot of the game and unlock new fighters and items. In arcade mode, you can fight against random opponents and earn rewards based on your performance. And in online mode, you can challenge other players from around the world and compete for rankings and prizes. The game has its own token called MF, which is used for various purposes in the game. You can use MF to buy fighters, skins, arenas, and other items from the marketplace. You can also use MF to stake in the game and earn passive income. You can also earn MF by playing the game and winning matches. You can try the game out right now if you are interested. For even more info, you can check their website and socials. The next game on our list is Citizen Conflict. Citizen Conflict is a free-to-play blockchain shooter game being built on BSC. Citizen Conflict is developed by QORPO Game Studio, a next-gen game developer that aims to democratize esports and reward players for their skills. The game is built on Unreal Engine 5, and it has stunning graphics and intense action. The game is set in the futuristic dystopia of Aether Islands, where three syndicates are waging an endless war for dominance. You can choose from different heroes, each with their own abilities, weapons, and backstory. You can also customize your hero with skins and accessories. The game has several modes that you can choose from, such as Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, and King of the Hill. You can play solo or with your friends, and compete against other players from around the world. 
The game dynamics rely on strong gameplay and battle tactics, so you have to work together with your teammates and use your hero skills wisely. You can earn QORPO tokens, the game's date of currency, by playing the game and participating in tournaments. QORPO tokens can be used to buy in-game items, stake in nodes, or trade on exchanges. The game is also free to play, so no worry about spending to start. Citizen Conflict is a gaming ecosystem that connects players, developers, and sponsors alike. It is a platform that empowers players to have fun, earn rewards, and influence the game's development. It is also a community that shares a passion for gaming and blockchain. The game is playable now in alpha from the Epic Game Store. If you want to try it out, or for even more info, you can check their website and socials. The next game on our list is Clash Hub. Clash Hub is a PvP strategy card game being built on the Binance Smart Chain. Clash Hub is the world's first multi-network NFT card game, meaning you can use NFTs from different blockchains like BNB, ETH, Sol, and more. Each NFT collection has its own theme and abilities that affect the gameplay. You need to have at least 3 NFTs from any of the approved collections on the platform to play. The game is simple but strategic. You and your opponent each have 3 cards on the board, representing your NFTs. Each card has 4 attributes, which are mana, attack, defense, and health. On each turn, you have a certain amount of mana to spend on playing cards or using special abilities. Then, you can attack your opponent's cards or their life points directly. The first player to reduce their opponent's life points to zero wins the game. You can choose from different game modes such as free play, ranked play, or tournament play. You can earn Clash tokens by playing ranked games or tournaments. Clash tokens are used for various purposes on the platform such as buying new NFTs, voting on DAO decisions, or staking for rewards. Clash Hub is also a platform that offers many features for NFT collectors and gamers alike. You can buy or sell NFTs from approved collections on Clash Hub's market. You can also trade Clash tokens for other cryptocurrencies or fiat money on exchanges. You can participate in the governance of Clash Hub by holding Clash tokens, and you can also join Clash Hub's vibrant community of players and collectors on their social media channels. If you're interested in playing Clash Hub, you can check their website for more details. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you were looking for games building on BNB that you could play right now, I hope this video helped. And before you go, I wanted to let you know that the Play to Earn Blockchain Game Awards 2023 is live right now. For the third consecutive year, we aim to recognize the top games, creators, and guilds in our industry. This year, more than 2,200 games, over 300 content creators, and more than 30 guilds have been nominated. If you want to support your favorite games and content creators, you can vote for them right now on our website. If you're wondering how to vote, you can hover over the little trophy by the upper right side of the website. Here, you can see all the categories you can vote for, like Best Blockchain Game 2023 and Best Content Creator 2023. Let's say you want to vote for the best blockchain game. Just click it, and it brings you to the voting page. On this page, you can select up to 5 of your favorite games. For example, let's say I wanted to vote for Alien Worlds, AI Land, and Avogachi. All you need to do is tick the box to the left with their names. Once you're done voting, you need to scroll all the way down, click the I'm not a robot, and cast your vote using this button. And just like that, you're done voting. You even get some play to earn points as a reward. So if you're looking to support your favorite games and content creators, don't forget to vote for them on our website. Voting ends on January 16th with the results to be released two weeks after. And as always, for even more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.